Hey folks, welcome back. Another scorcher out here today. So I'm taking refuge under this big white pine tree to show you something on the back of my DK40, my Coyote. Now, some of you guys have asked me what the deal is with this thing. And if you've seen some of my videos from, gee, probably over a year ago when I was out dragging some logs around in the winter time, you probably saw this three point hitch implement or attachment used. Now, what it is, is basically a three point attachment that uh, allows me to hook up some various hooks, which I end up hooking a chain to. You guys can see how that goes. Kind of hard to do one handed. Okay, so I have some hooks attached to this three point implement here, and uh, that allows me to hook this grade 70 chain up to it. And then I take this chain, as you've seen in other videos, and I hook this around logs and allows me to skid them quite easily. Now, in terms of this three-point implement here, this thing was an Amazon purchase, and I think the overall price of this thing was $140 Canadian. When you see it, it will not have this bar on the top of it. I actually welded this square tubing on and put this little piece of angle, which I notched. And you'll see I got six notches here. And what these are for is when I'm going out to the bush, I need to carry some chain with me. Those notches grab onto the chain and allow me to basically just hook the chain there and it won't move. I tried keeping it up at the bucket or up at the forks and what ends up happening is it falls off or I have to wrap it around a million times. So I found it to be more useful to keep it right back here. So I welded on this piece of square tubing. Now, the other reason I put this square tubing on here is when I hook up a log, oftentimes, especially if you have a long chain, you've got extra chain. These hooks allow me to, excuse me, these notches allow me to put that extra chain here so it's not dragging on the ground. So if you can imagine, this chain hooks to a log that way. The rest of the chain, the extra, can go up top onto the hooks, onto the notches rather. So you'll see it ends up looking something like this. My hand, pretend it's the log, you got the hook to hold the chain, and you've got the notches to keep all the extra handy, keep it uh, secure. So I've got a few of these hooks on here and I've got one here. I also got one down here on the draw bar and I've got another one down here on the draw bar. So what this actually comes with when you're gonna purchase this three point implement off Amazon, what it comes with is everything you see in red. So this piece here, it also comes with this uh, two inch receiver up here minus the uh, actual part you put into it. So it comes with everything here, down, and it comes with the draw bar. It does not come with the trailer hitch here, nor the hooks, okay? Those are extra, nor the bar, which I added at the top. Total price for the three-point implement here was $140 Canadian. I ended up having to buy these hooks extra. This hook, I think I bought from Tractor Supply. I think it was around $40 Canadian. So I've got one there, one here, and one here. This right here, the receiver, I just put this in actually. I put this in because I often use the three point hitch here in order to move my boat around. Also move some trailers around and other things like that. The three point implement, uh, having, having a, a, a hitch just like that with the two inch ball or whatever ball size you need. Having it on the three point hitch is really convenient because you can move it up and down by sitting in the cab. So I basically just back up to the trailer. I lift it up and it, uh, it goes right into the coupler. Okay, so $140 Canadian, draw bar, everything in red. <clears throat> $40, $40, $40, and then whatever the cost of this was, this is old as the hills. I think my dad made this, uh, this hitch, so I don't know what that would cost. And uh, you can also see this hook here is hooked to a, uh, this piece here that goes into the receiver. So whatever that would cost, I don't actually know. Looking around the back here. Nothing much to look at, nothing much to see. You guys can see here, you've got the spot for your top link. Down below, you just have the back side where your hitch, my uh, trailer hitch uh, goes into, and that's a two inch hole. Okay, so $140, add on those, uh, add on those hooks. You could, actually, uh, you could actually add more on if you wanted. I like having one way up at the top here, especially because if I'm just towing one log, I wanna get the log, the front of it, as high up as possible, so having it, up here in the top position allows me to throw a chain into it and lift it way up with the three point uh, implement the three point uh, hitch there the lever and uh, lifts the front of that log real high so that right there is a pretty solid buy i've had this for a number of years i've skidded a lot of logs with this i don't tend to skid in the summer but uh, as luck may have it after that tornado 
bug. After that tornado rolled through, I have a lot of logs to skid, so that's what I'm gonna go do today. You guys will see this in action. But uh, yeah, that's about it. You guys have any questions about this or the top bar uh, setup that I added or anything else for that matter, you know where it goes down below in the comments. And uh, without further ado, let's try to fight off the heat, get a little bit of work done, but take it easy overall. So let's go.
great. Well guys, as you can see, that's exactly how I skid logs when it's not winter time. In an ideal world, it would be winter time. Well, not right at the second, but I would be out skidding in the winter time because that way I don't get any dirt or debris onto the logs. Now in this situation, as you know, a tornado came through, so these trees were down already. I wouldn't necessarily cut them this time of year just because of the dirt on the logs. Three point implement there, the three point uh, attachment, that thing works wonders. If you need one, get one because that thing will save you a lot of effort. <clears throat> I'm out of breath, it's so warm out. Maybe that or I'm out of shape. What's great about this pulling from the back as opposed to pulling from the front is you're driving forward. I can also control the height quite easily. And with my camera in there, you guys can see it there in the rear view mirror. See there in the, uh, in the window. With that camera there, I'm facing forward the entire time. I can see exactly what's going on with the logs. Driving forward through tight trees is a lot easier than precariously lifting them with a chain or something on the, on the loader and trying to back out. So I like that a lot. Um, you guys can get fancy if you want and you can make it so all three logs are lifted off the ground. For me, for the time, I've got wood chips down. It wasn't gonna dig in. I just decided to hook it up how it was, get them out as quick as possible so I can get them up to the mill because we all know, judging by what's back there, I got a lot more of these trips to do. Anyways, it is hotter than blazes out here. The cab is beautiful. There's air conditioning in there. I think that's where I'm headed. Guys, you all take care. I hope it's nice where you are, and I hope no more natural disasters hit me. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you then.